up on your feet. What you need to do is catch up with her. Supermodel Naomi Campbell has called out a Russian designer who used a racial slur in a note to a fellow fashion insider. Oyana Sergenko, 36, came under fire over the card to Russian fashion entrepreneur Miroslava Duma which was addressed to my MS in Paris. Duma, 32, later shared a picture of the card on Instagram, prompting a widespread public backlash and forcing both women to issue a public apology. Naomi Campbell, 47, is among those who have slammed Sergenko over the racist post, while Duma has been removed from the board of Dallas-based parenting brand The Todd, which she co-founded. An Instagram post published by the Tot read, We at the Tot are deeply shocked by the offensive and racist post shared last night by Miroslava Duma during Paris Fashion Week. In no way do those actions or statements reflect the values of the Tot. Cultural reference or not, racism in any form is unacceptable, regardless of whether it's accidental or unintentional. Words are powerful and we know those words hurt. Affected immediately, we have removed Miroslava Duma from the board of our company. Meanwhile, Naomi Campbell shared an image of the offensive note on Instagram along with the warning this better not be real. Sergine Co who showed her couture collection in Paris on Tuesday, sent the note to her friend along with a bouquet of flowers. She explained it was a reference to a song by Kanye West and Jay-Z of the same name, which she claimed was one of her favorites. Shortly after the offensive post started to make headlines, the designer wrote a lengthy apology on Instagram I was born in a small town in East Kazakhstan, my daughter is half Armenian, I have never divided people I'm white or black, she wrote Kenny West is one of my favorite musicians, and NP is one of my most favorite songs The designer went on to admit that she and her friends do call each other the N-word from time to time, but she insists they are just trying to be like the song's rappers. And yes, we call each other the N-word sometimes when we want to believe that we are just as cool as these guys who sing it, she continued. I am deeply sorry to everyone whom I might have offended. Mira is a dear friend, and even the fact that she so naively posted my private card to her on her social means that we meant nothing wrong and didn't realize the consequences. I have certainly learned my lesson, and I am grateful for it. There is enough anger in the world out there, please. Can we stop it here? She ended the apology. The response prompted further outrage from fashion industry players. Fashion photographer Ed Kavish shared a screenshot of Sergenko's note to Duma on Instagram, writing, What planet would you think this was acceptable language and behavior? You don't get to use these words ever. He later posted Sergenko's apology, adding, Here is apology number one from Enoliana Sergenko Kanye West is one of my favorite musicians number some not a racist not sure, what's more pathetic the original post or this pile of vomit apology.
Kalia A. Hargov, a social media editor at Team Vogue, tweeted, This disgusts me. To see Mira post something on IG so casually using this racial slur, and then have Aliana defend the usage with such a BS excuse makes my blood boil. So tired of fashion girls thinking that listening to one rap song gives them the right. Fashion blogger Brian Boy also took to Twitter to slam Sergeinko's apology. So Lena Dunham definitely wrote Oliana's apology letter. Of course she's not racist. Kanye West is her favorite musician, he wrote, later tweeting, I love rich Caucasian woman privilege. I mean. Later on Tuesday, Duma released her own apology on her Instagram page. I sincerely apologize for my regrettable Instagram story that went out, she wrote. The phrase references is from a Kanye West and Jay-Z song by the same title. The word is utterly offensive, and I regret promoting it, and I'm very sorry. I deeply respect people from all backgrounds and detest racism or discrimination of any kind, she added. My organizations and I are committed to our core values of inclusion and diversity, 